Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney on this channel. We answer publicly posted questions from YouTube users, getting folks the answers they need from an employment attorney. I must tell you to like, subscribe, comment down below. It helps me to help more people just like you. All right, we have a question here from YouTube user Safety Buddy. Safety Buddy, great name. OSHA would love you. It's an agency, a federal agency that deals with workplace safety. For those for those who don't know if you know you know all right safety buddy says fresh eggs are so tasty yeah so safety buddy is referencing the fact that uh, my chickens are producing way more eggs than I can eat and I am trying to figure out how to get those eggs in the hands of hungry people <laughs> Cause there's a lot there's like uh, I don't know it seems like there's like a hundred extra eggs a week at this point so <laughs> So we're trying to do something about that. Um, Safety Buddy goes on to say, I know someone that was fired and the employer justified the termination based on lies. The standard pretext, right? A termination based on lies is a pretext. Uh, we have videos in the channel about pretextual terminations. Check them out. Safety Buddy goes on. The company has reported the lie to the State Department of Unemployment and the terminated employee was told over the phone by someone at the unemployment office that the reason the employer gave to the Oh, was told over the phone by someone at the employment office, the unemployment office, the reason the employer gave to the Department of Labor for the termination. The employer received verbal communication that the employer has lied when the employee asked for a written copy of the company's reason for justifying the employee's termination. The employee was told by the State Department of Unemployment they could not provide it. How can the fired employee get a copy of these records? So... If the employee goes to a hearing, often they'll be able to get a transcript of the hearing. It's different from state to state. My answers vis-a-vis -vis unemployment come from New York State, generally speaking, because that's we don't handle unemployment. Stop, Please stop calling me about unemployment claims. I don't, I don't handle those. And I, I'll be upfront. I don't handle those because um, they're not valuable enough and because the state of New York is terrible at paying attorneys on them. The state of New York's kind of got a situation set up where they – only pay the attorneys if the attorneys win the unemployment hearing, and then you get paid by the state of New York. And the state of New York is not great at paying its debts. Uh, you can certainly look into that yourself, but if you see any money within nine months, um, good for you. You're, you're very fortunate. Now, that's neither here nor there because we're answering a question. If you need to get evidence out of the, out of the state unemployment agency in New York, you can go to trial and grab the transcript of that hearing for unemployment benefits. Uh, you can also, um, you know, work the Freedom of Information Act angle and get the file from them sometimes. And listen, there's some additional protections in different states. That's going to vary a little bit state to state. So, you know, it's something to look into, but that would be, you know, so file a FOIA request, get that Freedom of Information Act, um, a lot of states are going to have additional protections on the state level in addition to the federal protections in terms of, you know, government transparency and getting documents out of the government. And that would be a great angle to work for your for your buddy, safety buddy, uh, in terms of getting those documents if, um, if there was not a hearing or there was not a transcript of the hearing or if for whatever reason they're in a state where they won't provide evidence from the investigative file or the, or the hearing, right? Uh, that might be a path forward to get that evidence. Um, and listen, is it useful? Yeah, it's potentially useful. I mean, listen, there's got to be some other claim because it's not in and of itself necessarily a claim. It's an unemployment claim, but it might not be a civil lawsuit claim um, for your employer to lie about why somebody was terminated. That's kind of like a standard. That's that's very normal, um, and it's just not really that meaningful because you know, at will employment, they can. You know, any non-discriminatory reason is a viable reason for termination. Um, so when they lie or give like a poorly thought out reason or whatever it is, a pretext, it's not the end of the world because often, you know, it's just not um, that valuable. But if you're engaged in litigation about a discrimination claim and, you know, there's there's all these arguments about retaliation. I was fired because of retaliation. I was fired because of discrimination. And the employer says, no, we, we fired you because of this reason. And then you're like, I need that in writing because that reason is verifiably a lie. Like I, I can prove that is a lie. And then that's a really good thing to grab. And I think safety buddy, I suspect that that's what you're pointing at here 
is that that could be a really valuable piece of evidence for a for an unrelated case, right? It's it's valuable in a case dealing with a termination for other motivations, motivations that give rise to claims like workplace discrimination, sexual harassment, retaliation, stuff like that. Anyways, I hope this helps safety buddy. I hope that your friend gets the information she or he needs and I wish you all great success in suing your employers. I need to say it again. Like, subscribe, comment down below. We're closing in on a thousand subscribers a day right now. It's not quite there. And if we got to that thousand subscribers a day, I would stop being the sad little man that you know, insecure as I am. And I would become a fully featured human being, a real boy. So click the button. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my plaque for 100,000 subscribers. I think it'd be fun. And I don't know. I'm, I'm silly and having fun with these videos. Take care, everybody. Bye.